Hello everyone. The final step of this lab example is to finally test the design on the RFSOC board. So before that, we will take a look into this RF clocking architecture on the RFSOC board. So here we can see that there is LMK04208 and then LMX2594 modules. So these two are separate modules provided on the RFSOC board, which are used to generate the sampling, sampling clocks for the ADC and the DAG bands. So for our design, we are, uh, we are using sampling frequency of 240 MHz at the DAC and ADC ends. So to generate this clock frequency, the LMX2594 module needs to be configured. It can be configured from the pink itself by using the clock configuration files. So these clock configuration files are generated using this TICS software. So for that, we can launch this software and then from the select device, and PLL plus VCO, we can select our LMX2594 module. So here is a snapshot for all the various blocks that are available in this module, which are used to finally generate the required output frequency. So here the final block RF output A is the output frequency which will be generated using the input reference frequency F oscillation of 122.88 MHz. So in our case, we need to generate this frequency for 240 MHz. So for that, we work our way upwards from RF output frequency to F oscillation frequency. And then from that, we decode the values for all these parameters which need to be set. So we have one condition known to us that it can be referred from the pink handout itself that for F PCO frequency less than 11.5 GHz, the channel division value should be greater than or equal to 8. And besides, we know that F issue frequency is the product of RF output frequency and the channel, division, uh, channel divider value. So using these two equations, we come up with that channel division value should be less than or equal to 47.96. So based on the values provided here, the only value satisfying this condition is 32. So if we select our channel division value to be 32, and RF output frequency is 240 then with the F issue frequency as product of these two we can come up with uh, F issue frequency as 7680 MHz then after that it is given that F issue frequency is related to the PD frequency using this formula so with F issue as 7680 and phase detective frequency is 122.88 MHz the fractional n plus numerator by denominator comes out to be 62.5 which is shown by these parameters here. So this, so this value comes out to be 62.5 and only these combination of values with n as 62, numerator as 1 and denominator as 2 will satisfy this condition. So we will set these values accordingly. Alternatively, we can give input of any value here at the output frequency such as 316 MHz and it will give approximate values of the channel division values, VCO frequency and N divider or fractional and all these parameters. The approximate values will be set to generate this required frequency. After that, we can modify these, val these values up and above to attain the exact required frequency. So for now on, it is 240 MHz. So once this is set, we will go to the raw registers tab so here are the 113 registers values, which basically forms a clock configuration file, which will be used to program this uh, LMX2594 module on the ZCU111 board. So from here, so we can here click on this export register map, which will export all these hexagonal values as a .txt file. So this is for 240 megahertz so these are these 113 hexagonal values which will be required ultimately in the pink level to program the required sampling clocks so now we will move to pink and test our design so for that we'll use this jupiter labs So once this Jupyter Labs open, 
we can go to the terminal and we can go to this directory so this directory contains all the python packages which can be accessed so for example here we will have the rfsoc oftm and here we will have the xrf clock which will be used by our design in this case so first going to the xrf clock so here we have the init.py and .so files and some txt files so here this init.py file is the one which defines all the functions that are used to program the lmx2594 module so we will open this file using nano here So here we have this function defined write lmx 2594 registers which is used to program the uh, module by using those 113 register values and here we have these uh, configuration values defined here. So here we have defined for 240 megahertz also. So these values are the same which, which were generated earlier using the TICS software so these are defined here in the variable lmx2594 config and this set all reference clocks this is the function which will be called which will be called by specifying this required frequency for which the, the uh, 2594 module will be configured next we will go to the rfsoc OFTM folder So here we have some various py files for all the for all the IPs that we have defined. For example, for the data inspector, which is used for the data transmissions in the transmitter and receiver modules, and the DMA timer, and then init py, and then OFTM TX, RX, and the overlay files. So these files are defined in the RFS in the downloaded RFSOC OFTM folder itself as here. And the overlay.py file is, uh, is same in the ZCU111 directory under the drivers folder. So here we have our overlay.py file defined. So now we finally need to configure the RF data converters IP according to our specifications by specifying the reference frequencies which will be provided by the LMX2594 modules and their sampling frequencies. So all these specifications and the initialization for the RF data converters is done in the overlay.py file. So we will open this file and we will go to this main class OFTM overlay. So here at this set all reference clocks is the function which is used to uh, configure the LMX2594 module as was seen earlier. So this should be 240 and Similarly, for the DAC tile, the reference clock will be 240 and its sampling frequency will be 1920 MHz. Similarly, for the ADC tile, this is the reference frequency and this is the sampling frequency. Now, since the sampling frequency is the 1920 MHz, the central frequency should be something say 1200 MHz. So now we can save these changes made and then we need to upload the appropriate .bit and the .hardware handoff files. These files were copied during the write bitstream step to the bitstream folder here. So we will copy these, upload these two files. So once these files are uploaded here, we can now run our design. So here the .bit file is being uploaded to program the ZCU111 board. So here we can select the modulation scheme by using this drop down menu. So here is the plot for the transmitted symbols. So for now our selected modulation scheme is 64 quam. 
and these are the values which are being transmitted along with the time axis so after that we will plot a channel estimation response and then the constellation plot for the received symbols so here the modulation scheme selected is 64 quam and let's say if we modify it to 256 quam the uh, constellation plot will also change accordingly now we can also uh, print the symbol error rate values for any modulation scheme so these are the two variables which are defined and will be used to compute the symbol error rate values so they are appropriately set for 256 quam and after that so here we have printed the symbol error rate and the uh, bit error rate so that's the end of this lab thank you